Sloppy, trust us. Maddie, your fashion consultant said it was okay. And for those cooler nights when we go out on our supermarket we're, we're, dates. Wow. Oh, isn't that nice? That is super special. Isn't it? Did you get that at Target? Yeah. Yeah, they're on sale, I know. <laughs> he goes to Target like every day. Were you watching that? Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah. Is that how much? Roughly. Well, then you should be happy that we uh, didn't... I'm glad you didn't spend yeah. a lot of money. See? We did good. Mm -hmm. See you in the fall, Jacket. No. Yeah. No. All right, boys. Are you ready? Oh. Yeah. Right. You got some cards, yeah. Pops. What's that noise? I don't know, Sean. I hope it's not another quinceanera. <laughs> it's more antacid. Somebody was having a very loud party yesterday. I mean, it sounded like thunder and lightning. The music was so loud. <laughs> Can we just see the front? Oh, yes. Yeah. Ugly That's Betty guy. favorite. <laughs> Is it? Mark. Do you like how Sean signed it? That's wonderful. Oh, Matt, did you realize that this is Mark and Dad's Mark? Duh. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Uh, it's also Dad's favorite character, Fuzzy Yeah. Bear. Yes, Daddy liked the one that I got. You can show the front, but not the inside. Ah, he's a fox! He's the hottest Scotch husband the in the world. What? Scotch on the rocks. Yeah. Drink up, baby. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I'm lucky. I am the... <laughs> glasses on. I know. <laughs> Fox and glasses. That's my husband. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Aren't I? Yes. <sighs> well, happy birthday, honey. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, that's probably the mommy right there. We're checking out the ground. We're doing the groundhog report here. I think there's a mommy and three babies left. So that means that there was four babies in that litter. I definitely saw like two big ones. There's another hole right over there. Let's see where my finger is pointing. Right there. There's a groundhog. Oh, there he goes. Coming out. There's two. Three. I see another one come. Oh, that one's so tiny. That must be the runt. Is the mom still there? Yeah. Yep. The mom is still there like, kids over there, stay in the backyard. <laughs> Hi, T. <laughs> he could care less about them. <laughs> but however, this. this one over here is Flash. scouting them out. Flash. He's hiding behind Flash. the buckets over here, Come trying on. to scout them out. Come on, puppy. Oh, the tiny one is just so adorable. They're all cuties. Yeah. So how was the pool? It's delicious. Well, you guys deserved it because you practically got friggin' sunstroke cleaning out the pool thank area, you. so... No, thank you. Oh, hi. Welcome to my kitchen again. <laughs> so, honey, why don't you show everyone what we're having for dinner today? 
or at mm. least my contribution for dinner. This is my world famous polenta lasagna. It's green and yellow stuff. Yes, on the bottom is some beautiful spinach, chopped spinach with uh, pesto. Seven, Sam's Club. seven pounds worth? No. Granny will be disappointed. It's probably only two pounds worth. And I didn't have to wash it myself because I, I spent the extra bucks and had it done professionally. But if I had Granny here, I'd definitely put her to work washing the spinach. So on top, instead of uh, lasagna noodles, we're going to go with the polenta because it's gluten free. So anywhere we can cut down on the gluten for us is a good idea. So. <laughs> That's why we're having polenta and that instead is of made from corn. Corn. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, for the people who may have a corn allergy, you know, you got to go with what you feel comfortable with. So, got my layer of polenta there. I've got my cashews, about two cups, soaking in the thing over here. This releases the. Now, how do I explain this so you guys can understand it? When you soak your cashews before you use them. It releases the coating on there that protects it when when it when a seed is a seed, it has a protective coating to protect the nutrients inside so that it can grow into a plant. So these are whole raw cashews. So if you planted these in the ground, you technically could get a cashew tree. Ooh, let's do that. So by sprouting them like this, I'm releasing that coating so that you can digest the nutrients in it much more easily than if you don't soak them. So that's the reason why you see people soaking cashews and it plumps them up and it takes the bitterness out too, which is probably due to that uh, coating. So I'm going to make my cashew cream instead of ricotta to put in the middle layer. And then, of course, another layer of the polenta, and then on top, I will put a little bit of mozzarella cheese with some red sauce. So it's kind of going to be like a three-colored uh, lasagna here, like the Italian. Red, green, and off-white. <laughs> As if the Italian flag were yellow, uh, green, and it's red. It's almost white. Oh my, well, the, the mozzarella is white, so... Alright, so it was in the oven 47 minutes. What do you think? Good? There it is. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> Alright, I'll got. i come back to you, Maddie. <laughs> and the reaction is... We won. When you said black rice, you know what I thought of right away? What? What, your squid and black yeah, rice? Yeah. yeah, it's I not like that. that the way oh, for sure. Oh, Vina <laughs> used to make it delicious and then. No. Oh, we <laughs> That's what my dinner looked like the other day. It looked like a big pasty mess, like when you made the squid and black rice and it's all gooey. Remember? When did I make yeah. that? When I was a kid and you tried to get me to eat it and I said, I don't think so. You know, they used to sell them black ink separate. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because the, the more black ink you put in it, the d more delicious it is. Who sells it separate? I don't know. I guess if you go to these, um, like Jean has wholesome choice, you know. Oh. Um, Mongers. Ink monger? Yes. Thank you. Happy birthday, Andrew and Marie and Mark. Make a wish. Blow it out together. Yeah. Oh no. Yay. You're out of focus. I don't catch up. You're in focus. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Er, er. It's your birthday. It's his birthday. So we're going to have a little dessert. Very little. We're having some fresh dewberries, mm -hmm. aka strawberries. We're going to take these packets of stuff off of the cake. <laughs> okay. And we're going to have a very thin slice of one of the best birthday cakes I've ever had. This was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Is there still Chinese food left? Just curious. Yes. I'm just asking. Yeah, I know what you're having for lunch tomorrow. Okay. It's 
surprised you didn't have it today. Because I did not want to eat a lot of food today because I felt like I was going to puke. Oh, okay. That's a good reason then. Alright, so that's like a nice size. I don't think we need fudge on this. No. What? Are you insane? No. Why would you even uh, think that? No. <laughs> now the person who serves the cake gets to clean up the... That's a granny rule. That's what's called squaring off. <laughs> My mom taught me that. Yeah. That's why I'm fat. <laughs> Granny would always go in the kitchen, clean it up a little bit. She'd go through whole boxes of crackers, take out all of the broken ones, and put them back in. I'm just eating the broken ones, Zawada. Yeah. That's my mom's, like, cleanliness, whatever, which means square it off. It doesn't look right. Get out a ruler. Is that the right size? So yeah, we're gonna have our little dessert here. Oh, it's so lovely, isn't it? Yes. You can have that one. Thanks. It's got more icing, and I know you like that. Thanks. Mine's been squared. All right. <laughs> Remember, square it off, kids. Granny says it's okay. Till next time. Much love.